If you're in a foreign language, if you're a linguist, you know, study all the different languages that, you, that they have, you know, all the different words for cannabis and hemp. Ca cannabis sativa. Sativa is a Latin word for useful. So cannabis sativa, useful plant. Now they call it the devil's lettuce, you know, so it's, it's really twisted the way they change that. But we know it's useful. Cannabis, the word canvas is actually derived from the word cannabis. So the Conestoga wagons that uh, explored our western frontier were covered with canvas made out of cannabis. So it's really cool. And this is the uh, Chinese symbol for hemp. It's a very straightforward symbol of a shed with a couple hemp plants or cannabis plants hanging upside down to dry. So I don't approve of tattoos. However, <laughs> if you're looking to get one, that might be a good one to get. So, we have linguistics, but there are areas, if you're into biology or chemistry, we need to understand the makeup of the hemp stalk. The cannabis stalk is very complex. It's got these long fibers, that, the long bass fibers that run the entire length of the stalk, and then the inside of the stalk is this woody herd material, which is very high in cellulose. And this is an electron microscope picture of a hemp herd. So you can see how, you know, it's just the, the pattern of it, and there's a lot of things that we can do by studying this or study the uh, co composition of a hemp seed. You know, why does it have such good, you know, percentage of proteins and essential fatty acids? And how can we make hemp seeds with better nutritional value? So there's a lot of different areas in this, this um, realm for you to look at. If you're in engineering, we need a lot of work in the engineering area. Thanks to Reefer Madness, thanks to the fact that we haven't been able to grow hemp for 70 years in America, the entire hemp industry has basically been decimated in America and there's been zero research and development into all of the machinery used to harvest and process hemp. So we need engineers out there, we need students to develop new machines that process hemp fiber. This is an old machine and the hemp fiber would go in just like this and the wheels would crush up you know, and separate the herds from the fiber. But we need, we need people to look at that. We need to look at the hemp fiber it grows, hemp grows 10 to 12 feet tall, the, and the fiber runs the entire length of the stalk. So it's one continuous piece, which means the tensile strength is very high, which means it's very good for composite materials, composite plastics. So if you're into composites and you want to develop a green material, look at hemp fiber and develop that, you know, document it so we can show that it's a great thing for composite materials and that our farmers should be able to grow it. 